Hello, this is Ralph Reef, and today I am talking to coaches and to athletes about how to create a home routine during this unusual time. At Butler University, what we set out to do when we uh, became involved in this situation was to really get an assessment of our student athletes. And so I wanna start with giving you some statistics of what we found with our student athletes at Butler University in Indianapolis as they were dispersed all over the world um, and uh, sent home from the university. Of course, the NCAA has suspended all winter and spring championships and at Butler University, like so many other universities around the country, We've suspended practices, we've suspended on-campus activities, and everyone that is non-essential is working from home. So we're all adapting to this new environment, and it's uh, particularly challenging for uh, every person who's involved in uh, athletics. You know, we are all hardwired to work hard, uh, be accessible to our uh, colleagues and to our student athletes, and to um, always be grinding, if you will. And so it's tough, it's challenging to find new ways to connect, new ways to uh, establish some type of order. And so we thought it was important to get some feedback from our student athletes to really understand what we needed to do. And so I set up a survey, a well being survey, and sent that out uh, through SurveyMonkey. And over the course of 48 hours uh, to our student athletes at Butler University, we had an 87% participation rate. So we were thrilled with that. So let me go through some of the questions and uh, answers to give you some perspective. What I think is a slice of all athletes, regardless of middle school, high school, collegiate, professional, I think it's a slice of what they're all thinking because we're also, I ask our coaches who are talking to them individually, do the results of the survey really mirror what you're hearing as you're talking to the student athletes? And they agreed that it was. So the number one question I asked, or the first question I asked was, how are you feeling? And 22% said, I have a level of anxiety. I'm struggling, but I'm finding ways to cope throughout the day. So don't deny the fact that uh, it's normal to feel anxiety about this new reality and to embrace it. We'll come back to that. Question two is how have you identified and have you identified something in your new environment that resembles an activity that you had while you were on campus? So what in your new life resembles something in your previous routine? And I didn't ask specifics in this question, but I asked if they were setting up or had some type of opportunity to do this. What was great, 84% of our student athletes said, yes, I have found something in my daily activity that resembles my activities when I was on campus. Now, some of that I am very sure is the fact that we're doing online learning which is occurring all across the United States, all across the globe. So that's a portion of it, but it's also the physical activities that I have found. And it's also the connectivity that our coaches are having with the student athletes that resembles some of their previous activities. 84% said, I have found something that makes it more palatable to be home. I said, how would you rate your level of anxiety about life right now? How would you rate your level of anxiety about life right now? 40% of them said, I'm cool. And that's what I put in the survey. <laughs> you know, when athletes walk into our training room at Butler University, a lot of times we'll just kibitz around and have fun with them. Say, hey, how's your day? Uh, how was uh, uh, activities last night? Uh, how's the group session going? And uh, uh, the term, you know, I'm cool. All right. So I asked them, 40% said I'm cool. 60% said I'm struggling. I'm anxious. 60% said 
this has got me rattled. I'm unsure about what's going on and I'm uncomfortable, honesty. So we'll come back to that. So what we found was through this survey, we understood that routine is really important, finding something to connect to. And I also had elements where all of the athletes could, could free form and send back some information. And in those comments, a lot of it was, hey, I really appreciate coach staying connected. Hey, I appreciate my athletic trainer staying connected. Hey, I love that my strength coach is giving me some guidance. And here's what the theme through all of those resembles. Thanks for touching base. It's a communication. It's the relation. All of you in athletics realize that all of us have a DNA inside us that is social. We love the relationships. We love how we challenge and help and guide and support. And as an athletic trainer, um, my, uh, my source of energy comes from helping other people. And so now we're challenged by that. How do we do that in a new way? So what I wanted to do was really give you some things to look at. And I've thought for a number of years about today's athlete. Today's athlete is a 24 hour athlete. We're monitoring sleep, we're monitoring hydration, we're monitoring academics, we're monitoring their speed of activities, we're, we're monitoring their speed of, of movement and of, of the barbell. Um, we're monitoring, we're assessing, we're interacting 24 hours a day. And so now, what's that 24 hours look like that we can help athletes and coaches manage this new reality? And so let's go through some of these. I think it's very important to set a daily to-do list. Impact your student athletes with the fact that they need to create a list each day of what to do. Make your bed, eat breakfast, read a book, text me. Something on that list that they can get into and they can follow up on that gives them a sense of accomplishment. Communication accountability. Communicate. Find ways to communicate. Find a routine and a rhythm in which to communicate. Now, interestingly, some of the feedback in the narrative from our student athletes was, hey, I'm overwhelmed with all the new communication. What we found was a lot of our students weren't reading a lot of the emails we were sending to them anyway. So now it's a new reality. So, but find a way to hold them accountable for communication. Reflective, reflective topics. Let me give you a couple of questions to ask your staff, ask your students, ask your parents. What are your success traits? What has made you as an athlete successful to this point in time? Reflect on it. Those are good questions to think about, dig deep into, create a journal, or it might be the first time you've ever had that kind of conversation with one of your athletes. Second one, what do you want to accomplish? When I was at St. Vincent Sports Performance for 20 years, we did a lot of, 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 of uh, training of collegiate athletes who were making the transition into professional sports, whether that's football, or basketball, whatever. And what I always challenged our athletes in that program to do was I want them to walk back into their university. I want them to walk back into the clubhouse. And I want people to say, wow, what have you been doing? Challenge your athletes to set a goal, to figure out what they can do, and create that wow. It might be a change in body composition. It might be increased movement. It might be just maintaining what you've accomplished. And keep that in mind, when this is over and we get back together, be positive. 
be positive. Because what we also found in our survey is everybody's restricted in their resources. Can't get out, can't get into the gym. Hey, I'm a college student, I went back home and I wanted to get into my track, the track's closed. About the only student athletes who are finding normal right now are distance runners in track and field and cross country. They're about the only ones who have an opportunity to be normal. So be respective of that. Here's some things that I'll leave you with as we close. Reinforce personal hygiene. Reinforce it. It's got to be a message that is reinforced, that is sent, that is consistent. Social distancing. I get questions still today, and we're about eight days into this situation, eight to 10 days, and I'm still getting questions from student athletes, my own staff, hey, can I go? No, the government has said essential travel only. So heed the warnings and you will find your athletes, your families will still ask questions that are counter to everything we're seeing in the news, on our government websites. Understand we're hardwired. We've been that way. I'm 61 years old. I've been hardwired to go hard for 61 years. Now all of a sudden I'm quarantined. It's a change. So you're gonna ask some of the same questions that you did when everything was normal. So accept that, laugh at that, understand it, be supportive. Here are four things I want you to do with your student athletes. Reinforce personal hygiene, reinforce hydration, reinforce movement, and reinforce sleep. Again, reinforce personal hygiene, hydration, movement, and sleep. Those four tasks. We can talk more about it in another session. You'll get more information from others across the huddle platform about various things on nutrition and hydration and sleep. But those are things that you can do in the confines of your new environment. So this has been Ralph Reef from Indianapolis, Indiana, Butler University. I hope that this has been helpful for you. This is the end. Thank you.